Hello and welcome back. Uh, today we're going to be playing some games from the Pi Game Community Summer Team Jam, which is a jam that I participated in this past week. Um, the gist of this jam is that we had to use Pi Game and we had to work on teams with at least two people, and the theme was remake an old game with a twist. Um, so let's get right into the submissions. There were 13 submissions, including mine. Um, this one's mine, Tempest Run. Um, and let's just dive right into it. Um, I think we're probably only going to play ones that provided Windows builds, so hopefully they all did that. Um, starting with Brick Game Gallery by, oh, how do you pronounce this? Kai, Kai Chumimo. <laughs> I know who this person is, but I've never actually tried to pronounce the name. Okay. Um, ch -ch 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 -ch. Did they provide a Windows build? I guess let's just download it and see. Yeah, as usual, I've not pre-downloaded anything, so... Oh, God. Wait, how's there only, like, one file? Okay, I think I actually just have to run this. So, I have Pygame, I have NumPy, hopefully this... Alright, one sec. Uh, CD to this, and then Python 3 PRG.py. Blah. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's extremely loud. <laughs> Hopefully, that's more comfortable. I'll turn this down a lot. Okay, and let me see if I can capture it. There we go. Okay, Brick Game Gallery. Being recorded. Um, I'm just gonna read the page really quick. Uh, this game was made with a limited period of time, so it is not complete. Certain things need to be polished. Only one of the games can be played. This game is designed to be compatible with TIC-80 in case Pi Game was not viable. Special thanks to Adam Audio. <laughs> Special thanks to Gas to providing a Python script to convert CSV files into 2D array format. Did I do that? <laughs> okay, I don't remember doing that, but okay, I'm glad that I was helpful. Um, okay, what's happening here? I see the word blocks. I see the letter A. Um, okay. I hit Z. Oh, okay, okay. Here we go. So it is a, uh, it is a paddle and, and block breaking game, I think. Fuck. Okay. So the, uh, the blocks appear to be either falling or, like, generating downward. Oh my god. And the paddle is, like, constrained to a grid. Which is a bit unusual, and it, it doesn't give you a lot of control over where the ball bounces. Like, normally in games like this, the paddle will move, uh like smoothly and it'll bounce like depending on where on the paddle like like the angle will be determined by where on the paddle it hits but in this case i think the ball is just always at like a 45 degree angle which is interesting oh 
I'm not sure if there's any rhyme or reason to how the uh, blocks are getting down here. I'm not sure if I have a goal besides just breaking as many blocks. Oh, that was a weird bounce. <laughs> okay, so if it hits the corner of a block, it um, it just like reverses, it seems, in uh, in the x and y direction. Okay, well we are breaking these blocks. Oh. Not sure if I have any lives. I have one miss. But I feel like, oh, I feel like I could just keep going roughly indefinitely, unless something uh, changes. <laughs> the blocks are generating, oh my god. All right, well. I guess I spoke too soon. Yeah, the blocks are generating faster than they were at the beginning. This game has a very nice uh, retro feel to it, both in its graphics and its sound. I think the music was well done for this, actually. Oh my god. Oh, I missed. <sighs> okay. So I have three misses. I'm, uh, oh, okay, enter. Okay, I think that that's, I think that that's about it. There is a gallery, though. Gallery? I think the gallery just, uh, oh, are there more games? I think it mentioned that... Yeah, I think it mentioned that only one of the games is playable. But yeah, this is meant to be one of those like classic uh, like gallery style games where there's like a bunch of mini games baked into one game. Um, which they definitely achieved here. All right, very cool. Yeah, th this is really well polished. Um, I gotta say, for a one week jam, I am I'm impressed. Just with the graphics and the sound and everything. Very cool. All right, that was um, that was Brick Game Gallery. Yeah, I wonder if they had planned other other brick style games for this. Very cool. All right, let's move on. Next one, Fruit Game by Chris Beast. Game page. All right, fruit game. Have you gotten tired of the good old snake game? Well, look no further. This game will give you a new and improved experience of the snake game. In fact, it will give you the exact opposite experience to the original snake game. <laughs> what do you like? Play as the apple or something? Let's find out. Um. Okay. Let's try out the Windows build if we can. executable.zip fruitgame.exe let's give it a try and let's not sure if there's any sounds uh oh no it's not capturing it obs please um i want what is this called? Fruits game? There we go. Okay, we got it. Fruit game. Press any key to play. Oh my god, what just happened? All right, something that you guys can't see just happened, but we're good. All right. Press any key to play. Enter. All right. Oh, you do play as the apple. Beautiful. So, I think I'm avoiding the snake. Oh, and the snake gets longer. Oh! <laughs> okay, okay.
What? <laughs> All right, what did I get? 35.3? I can do better. I can go at least a minute, I think. OK, so as the fruit, you can actually do a complete 180, which the snake can't do. I think we move at roughly the same speed. But since I have the power to do 180s and the snake doesn't, I think this is the strat here. Yeah. I like this game a lot, actually. you could really get into this. I think we do move at the same speed. But with my ability to do 180s, I think I just have a, an advantage over the snake. like an airplane or something in the background. Maybe you can hear it. But I won't let it distract me from this sick run. Am I going to make it to two minutes? The snake is now 60 long. I wonder if the apple can collide with walls and not die. I don't really want to test it, but... Oh! Whoa. <laughs> okay. Snake did something different there. Yeah, the snake seems to have a uh, like a little strategy here. Like, it kind of gets close to you horizontally, and then it decides to um, stop going up and down and go at you. Yeah, the snake definitely seems to have some ideas about how to catch me, but yeah. Is it going to be enough? Yeah, I wonder if the game would be more interesting if the snake's AI was like better. Like, <laughs> like if it really tried to like wall you off. Like, if the snake made a wall, like, totally from the top to the bottom that just, like, prevented the apple from, uh, from accessing, like, the other side of the board and then it's just, like, slowly encroached on you, then I think it would be, like, impossible to actually win once the snake gets to a certain length. Oh! Yeah. So I think this is the strat here. Oh, it did! Wait, it did go all the way to the top. Okay, that's bad. I'm going to have to do a maneuver here. All right. Can I do a maneuver here? Yeah, okay. I won! Wait, oh, it killed itself. Oh, I see. Very interesting. So I don't know how I manipulated the snake into colliding with itself, but um, it seems to have done that. All right, very cool. Yeah, actually, I like this game a lot. I think the, the presentation is very clean. The gameplay is, is, is very straightforward and creates some interesting situations. And uh, yeah, if it's, if it's the theme exactly well, it takes a, a, a classic game and kind of reverses it. Very cool. All right, this has been Fruit Game by... Chris, was it Chris Beast? Um, Chris Beast 
and probably some other people as well. Hopefully some other people as well, <laughs> but I don't see them. All right, let's move on. Parapack. So, Parapack by uh, SSS says Snick, and Vaxar, and Cool Stuff123. All of these people I know pretty well from the Discord. So let's see what they managed to put together. Parapack, a multi-dimensional Pac-Man with a few twists. Let's check it out. Okay, nice little uh, nice little top of the page graphic here. The year is 1980. You have time traveled over four decades back into the era of arcade games. You visit your favorite arcade games like Pong and Space Invaders. But when you play Pac-Man, well, it's a tiny bit different, turns out. The arcade machine that contains this version of Pac-Man dubbed Parapac is a failed time machine made by the government. A few years later, the government covered up Project Parapac and replaced it with the Pac-Man we know today. However, you think that if you finish the boss level, the arcade machine will time travel you back. It will be very difficult, though, as no one has finished a game of Parapac. Oh, no. Is that a challenge? However, you are filled with determination wanting to go back to your era. <laughs> Nice little reference there. Overview. Parapack is like Pac-Man, except there are a few small twists. After traveling to a parallel universe, you gain the ability to travel through dimensions. Press P to activate this power. Okay, P to go to parallel universes. There are shops that allow you to buy numerous items like power-ups and extra lives. Each dimension has at least one stop. You use the coins you get from the yellow balls to buy items. To win, collect all the coins in the boss level and get to the green square. Okay, download the zip, extract zip, okay, great. Give me the game. Oh, I can't believe I still have Skype installed on this computer. Wait, how's that possible? I got this computer like after Skype went defunct. Anyways, um, Ooh, what's going on here? Fellas, use one file mode. <laughs> what's all this? Okay. Run anyway. Let's capture the window. Oh, what's this called? Parapack. Okay, here we go. I'm not sure if there's sound. The settings menu does not seem to do anything. <laughs> okay. Help. Oh, God. I think this is the same stuff we just read. Page one of five. Oh, my God. Dimensions. In simple terms, dimensions are kind of like a level, except that you can go between dimensions without needing to complete the previous one. Each dimension is different. Numerous maps. Dimensions are linear. Teleport based on the direction you are moving. If you are moving up or right, you will go to the next dimension while moving down or left moves you to the previous one. 25 seconds. You will lose a life if you teleport to a non-player entry block. Okay, so you basically, you're like moving, and then you press P, and then you jump to like either the next dimension or the previous dimension, depending on which direction you're moving. Okay, briefly about shops. It has shops that allow you to buy items in exchange for coins. You get coins by collecting the yellow score dots. To enter the shop, you collide with the shop tiles. Every dimension has at least one. Some might have two. Exit the shop by pressing F9 or pressing the exit shop button. Okay. There's a lot of instructions here. So WASDA or arrow keys, P to teleport, escape to pause. Then some debug stuff. Are these in the are these in the, the the released version of the game? Okay, well we're not gonna use any of those. Let's start. Okay. So probably Whoa. Am I gonna lose here? Okay, okay. Can I get him? Nice. Yeah, so, so far, it seems like they have uh, replicated the classic uh, 
Pac-Man gameplay quite uh, quite accurately. I wonder if the uh, the ghost AI is like true to. Uh... Oh fuck. Okay, so you respond where you died. Sometimes it's like hard to get into uh, a corridor sometimes. Oh! That ghost is just blue. He's not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I thought he was uh, eatable. I think the level layout is different. But I'm not sure. Alright, what is this? A shop? Okay, what do we got? Heal player by 1 HP. Double the player's speed for 15 seconds. Allow player to eat ghost for 15 seconds. Allow player to ignore walls. Um, extra life. That seems good. This seems bad. How many coins do I have? This can I buy this? Oh, I have like 200 coins. Okay, I'll just buy. Uh, well, I'll save my money for the other shops. So yeah, I think I want to just get all these coins, finish this level. Travel ready. So I hit P. Okay, nice little effect. There are no dimensions behind. Okay. Well, that didn't seem very fair. So if I'm about to die, I should basically just teleport. Okay. Am I just trapped here? <laughs> yeah, so I went forward. I have one life. Okay, there's a lot going on here. So, if I just go back to the previous dimension, am I just gonna like die? Because I'm still gonna be cornered. Yeah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Eating ghosts actually does anything. I guess it increases my score, probably. What? Okay, still immune, thank goodness. The ghosts are faster than they were before. Yeah, getting into these corridors is like pretty tricky. I don't know if this is actually how the original Pac Man was, and I'm just being a baby, but. Yeah, 
the ghosts are moving at like really different speeds from each other. Alright, let's teleport. I teleported! <laughs> okay, it takes time for the teleport to work, I guess. Let's, uh, let's just try to speed run towards the finish line here. Maybe pick up some stuff in the shop. I think we want this. Oh, I don't have the coins. Okay, hold on. Let me get up to 70 coins. Okay, the ghosts are really slow right now. I don't really understand, because they were really fast last time. Like speeds them up. Get in there. Okay, let's get the shop. Let's get the wall immunity, and then let's teleport. So I have one hundred ninety-five. I did teleport, but I am trapped. Okay, I guess I just want to keep going forward. But I might just stay trapped. Oh, here we go. Okay. Wow, there's a lot of ghosts. What do we got? Uh, seems like the same shop as before. So that's 80 coins. I'll buy that. Buy some lives. Oh, why can't I eat the ghosts? <laughs> it lied. Oh, unless I'm like buying the wrong one. Alright, 
72 coins. Can't teleport. What? <laughs> I wonder if the clock keeps ticking while I'm in the shop. No, it doesn't. Okay. Wow, there's a lot of ghosts. But I can teleport. Okay, so I think I want to ignore walls. Oh, wait. Wait, what just happened? I just looped back. Oh my god. I just like looped back to the uh, beginning. Okay, that's not good. <laughs> that's not good at all. These guys, thankfully. Okay. That was actually really bad. I didn't know I was on the final level. But I was. the geometry of this part. So it looks like I should be able to go up, but I don't think I actually can. So I have 78 coins. Oh, am I like in the wall? I don't know. Something weird's going on. So I think I could buy this. Yeah. Okay, okay, I could beat this. I can beat this, I know what I need to do. I think I was very close, I just, uh, I just like wrapped all the way back around to the, the first dimension on accident. Getting gypped. <laughs> okay, travel ready again. We come into here, we get loads of coins. Whoa, game's like <laughs> slowing down in a very weird way. Alright, what do we got? So I don't want to buy anything yet. I, whoops. I think I want to just buy wall hacks and the ghost eating thing and then go to the next dimension, get as many coins as I can, and then basically do the same thing. So. Eat ghosts. Damn it! <laughs> so I was in a wall. I should have just done what I said I was gonna do and buy the uh, buy the wall immunity. 
Yeah, now I'm kind of screwed again because I only have one life. I only have 75 coins. Um, can I even afford this? Yeah. want wall immunity again. Maybe a life. Oof. Fuck. <laughs> I think I could beat this, but I think we need to move on. Uh, this game's very cool. The, uh, the the collision system is a little bit wonky and, and difficult to use, especially when you have like wall hack mode and you're trying to like realign yourself to the grid, and you just have to like really try to get into the lane before the timer runs out, and that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, it's a very neat idea, and there's there's a lot of content here. Um, considering the the duration of the jam, and I, I love the uh, the like story as well. Uh, I wish I could have beaten it, but I couldn't. <laughs> All right, very cool. That has been Parapack by Snack and Avaxer and someone else. Cool stuff. One, two, three. Very cool. Def definitely an interesting twist on on Pac-Man. Yeah, I love the, uh, the the level layout as well. A lot of uh, a lot of interesting mazes here. A lot of ghosts on this level. Yeah, I I think I would have beaten it if I hadn't like warped to the next level. <laughs> yeah, you shouldn't be able to do that as well when you're on the last level. Warp back to the first one on accident. That seemed a bit unfair. Uh, okay, enough whining. Let's move on. Okay, next game is uh, Western Defender by Matt Coles and probably some other people. Okay, entry for Pi Game Summer Jam 2021. Theme was old game with a twist, inspired by old platformers. Loved the jetpack and flamethrower and alien carnage. Wanted to make a platform with jetpack and flamethrower. Set in a Wild West setting. Download the game from GitHub. Oh no. Python 3.9. Okay, I do want to play this. Hopefully it's not too painful to set up. Extract all. Check the requirements. Okay, just Pygame. Uh, and the main is called main. Here we go. Time to play some music. Hopefully you guys can hear that properly. Okay. What is this called? Western Defender. Very professional video making we have here. Where is it? Okay. <laughs> Very cool song. 
start game. Okay, looks like this is a level selection screen. The locals call me Western Defender, but I'm not. Just a man from the future, stuck in the past. Need to find these aliens? Time machine. And travel back to the future. Okay, we have some aliens. Oh, wow. Okay, what do we got? Arrow keys. Okay. So space bar to shoot, arrow keys to jump and stuff. Whoa. Uh, where'd my guy go? Okay, space bar to shoot. Arrow keys to jump, shift to change weapon. Oh, okay. Here's the uh, the aforementioned flamethrower. Alright, got him. Cactus. I love the art style so far. Got some, uh, some pixel art in the foreground and some, some easier art in the background. Oh my god, this camera's brutal. <laughs> Alright, let me switch to... Get my guns out of ammo. Okay. So V does the jetpack. Okay. And my jetpack has fuel. Okay. Oh, and you can, uh, you can air jump as well. Get up there. <laughs> Get up there. Okay. Okay, definitely some aliens. Okay. Yeah, the camera is a bit brutal. <laughs> you have, like, an inch of, vi of visibility ahead of you. Oh, what? Okay. Okay. Whoa. I'm trapped. <laughs> okay, I'm free. Tumbleweed? I can't pick it up. Oh, I'm out of ammo. Can get ammo anywhere? Collected one of three. So I will switch to this gun and hopefully get some more ammo. Something up here. Jet juice. Health. Am I not displayed anywhere? Oh. Right. Oh my god. That was not there. So I see there's a one at the bottom right. I hope that that's not my health. Okay, got some more ammo. Okay. The controls are kind of awkward. <laughs> I guess, well, I generally prefer to play like left-handed, where I, I move with my left hand and do actions with my right. So it's like backwards for me to start with. So maybe that's my issue. Game over. Victory. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, I think that's the only level. Very cool. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of assets in this game, which is very cool. The player is like nicely animated. And the alien characters are very detailed, and there's three different guns. There's this like cutscene to start with. There's a song. Yeah, very nice. Very cool. I I hope they do end up building other levels. They may not, given that the jam is over, but. Yeah, lots of cool art in this game, for sure. The, uh, the alien technology. 
The beginning is a little brutal, where the alien is just, like, murdering you to start with. But, um... Yeah, very nice. Very nice. Alright, that has been... Yeah, these are the uh, the devs in the shed guy. I think they may have they may have streamed or made videos about about this jam. I'm not sure. But yeah, this has been Western Defender by we'll just say Devs in the Shed because I think that's their that's their like team name. All right, next is Shovel Mario. By. Lanik, X Lanik. All right. Oh, you guys can't see. Oof. All right, Shovel Mario by uh, by X Lane Ick. Shovel Mario, help Mario find treasures in the depth. Game done in Pi Game for Pi Game Summer Jam 2021. Team Discords, Beetlejuice, Nara, Jenna, and me. I don't recognize any of these people. Controls: move arrow keys, shovel Z, down shovel, down plus Z. Okay, okay. Run hub.py to run the game. Oh, there's an exe as well. Okie dokie. Oh, there is no exe. Okay. So we want game. Oh, there is an exe. Wait, I'm stupid. I just can't read. All right. <laughs> we are getting into it. OK. Oh, very nice art here. Window capture, properties. What's this called? ROM spill? OK. Beautiful opening graphic, I have to say. I'm very impressed so far. And I love the concept as well. Okay, I'm not sure if there's sound. Okay, there is. Okay. So Mario can jump. Mario can jump very high. The FPS is really uh, chugging <laughs> on this game. Okay, let's try to dig. So, we push Z to do the shovel. Can I shovel this guy? This guy cannot be shoveled. But I can do down Z to dig down. Alright. Okay, and you can do down Z in the air. Okay, and you can dig to the side. All right, got a coin. So, I am a Minecraft pro. I say that as I dig straight down, which you're not supposed to do in Minecraft. So I'm gonna dig down like this. Safely, in case there's lava. Okay, got another coin. We were dig oh! Alright, the game uh, game just crashed. Uh, <laughs> the game has crashed, everyone. Okay, let me... Uh, let me try to run this again. What's what's the I actually want to run it in the console. Run hub.py to run the game. Okay. Alright. Um I'll just turn this on. Yeah. The game appears to have crashed. Well, it did crash. There's no uh 
No question about it. <laughs> Alright, let's dig down. I think someone had mentioned that... Whoa. Yeah, what happened here? Um... Update missing one required traditional, one required positional argument tiles. Level.py update enemy.update. All right. It's time to hack. <laughs> Can we fix this? Level.py. Um, what line is this? Update 31. Enemy.update, yeah, looks like it's supposed to get a tiles argument. Um, Self.tiles and blocks. Tiles. Yeah, it looks like maybe the game crashes as soon as an enemy appears or something like that. Is there an enemy class? I don't want to just like pass total garbage in. Um, states, no, sprites, enemy, enemy, update. So it extends sprite, ground enemy, update. Air enemy, oh. Oh, so the air enemy expects to get some tiles. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do some hacking here. Uh, we're gonna see if it works. Nah, you know what? It's it's really unlikely that I'm going that I'm just gonna be able to fix this. Uh, all right, yeah. So that's too bad. Based on the screenshot, it seems like there is like more to the game. I wonder if they've like updated it. I don't know. I'd I'd hate it if if there was like actually more to the game and I just can't play it because there's like some little bug that causes the game to crash. But yeah, well, that's too bad. I hope that they fix it after the jam or something like that if if there is more content. But yeah, that has been Shovel Mario, a game with a lot of promise, but seems to be more or less unplayable due to this bug, unfortunately. All right, moving on to Space Invaders by Cozy Fractal. So this game's a bit of a mystery. Cozy Fractal is the one of the organizers for the jam, and he also won the last jam with his highly acclaimed game, Flyer. Seems like in this jam, though, he may have run out of time or something like that. I'm not sure. It looks like the page is actually set up now. Okay. So we can download the source code. xxx.zip Okay xxx.py, this is the base template, do, 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 only two dependencies are Python and Pygame. Okay, Python xxx.py. All right, let's just run it. This game called xxx. So, What? <laughs> Why do I need Python 3.8? What year is it? It's 
2021. Um, well, this is awkward. Um, can I just not? Why, why do I have to do that? If sys.version info. All right. <laughs> we are we're hacking again. <laughs> Damn, they're using the walrus operator. Are you kidding me? Ugh. It's like bleeding edge Python game here. Oh, man. You're really going to make me download. How do I do this? How do I do this? 3.8, no, come on. 3.811? I want to do it. Just give me it. Oh my god, so annoying. All right, 3.9, can I get 3.9? Can you give me 3.9? You can tell that I never upgrade anything. I have no idea how to do this. Uh, Windows installer 64-bit. All right, perfect. I just want to click stuff and have it work. All right. We are installing. Wait, upgrading. Do I already have this installed? That'd be awkward. What does the walrus operator even do? We're going to learn assignment, the walrus operator. Print walrus. Uh, oh, it's just an assignment that like returns the, the value. Huh. You, you really needed this, huh? <laughs> Could, couldn't make the game without this this stupid operator, right? I bet you're using uh, um, like the, the the match the new like match expression to just uh, just can't use the basic operators that we all know and love. Got to use the new stuff. <clears throat> oh, this game better. Uh... Okay. Um, Python 9 is not recognized. All right, let me close and reopen commands. What? What's what's going on here? Python. I'm losing my mind. Python 3.7. Are you kidding me? I have to like edit my path. Oh. <laughs> this is so annoying. Um. The things I do. The things I do for this community. All right. So. I want to. Okay, so presumably. Crap, I'm going to have to like install Pygame for, uh, for 3.9 as well. So this exists for 3.7, okay, and it also exists for 3.9. So if I just change this to 3.9 real quick. Then, <laughs> then it should work. And then I reopen commands 
and then I oh and if, if anyone wants to uh, you know make any comments about how I could have done this a lot faster I don't want to hear it <laughs> I don't know how to use computers I do my best I figure out how to do it eventually Um, does this have, like, requirements? There's no requirements.txt. Oh. All right, Python version. There we go. Python pip version. So pip install pygame I'll definitely need. Okay, it's going to be using the older versions of these packages, uh, which might work. Dot pi. Okay, we did it. Okay, we're in the game. There's no sound. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, X, no. This. Okay, we did it. Yeah, so this video also serves as a tutorial for how to, how to upgrade your Python. All right, warning, this game is incomplete. It was made in under two days, and many things are not glued together well. There are bugs, and we had bigger ideas for the project, so take it as proof of concept. Space to continue, a game by Cozy Fractal, Zoldama, and Felix. Space. All right. Controls, keyboard and mouse, A, D to move, E slash right click to show hide cards, arrow key slash mouse select card, left click down. Okay, hold on. So A and D to move, right click to show and hide cards, arrow keys. Okay, so mouse to select card, right click to hide cards, left click to shoot or use card. Controller. Okay, we're not using controller. Oh, there is a little bit of sound. All right, let's play. Okay, so we have cards up top. Shoot with space as well. Okay. So it is a twist on Space Invaders with all kinds of cool graphics, or like cool graphical effects. Very cool. And the invaders do get faster as the game progresses, true to the original. OK. Sacrifice, heal. I'm not sure if these are like permanent upgrades. Wave one, shop. Bad news, help down. These are like bad cards, right? Permanently lose 25 HP. Um, I'm confused. Am I buying cards? Oh, okay, escape. I think I just bought all those cards when I didn't have to. <laughs> Some of those cards were bad. Um, I don't know why you'd want to buy a bad card. Maybe you have to buy a certain number of cards, and so if you don't have enough money, you end up with bad ones. I get the sense that this is like a deck building game. So maybe on each level you draw like four random cards, and then you can use those during the level. It is a bit hard to like focus on the cards as you are trying to shoot enemies and avoid bullets at the same time. I wonder, you can't like pause, whoa. 
Okay, I paused the game and then I hit escape and I think it just quit. <laughs> so that's not good. <laughs> that is, uh... Alright, that's fine, because I, um... had a pretty terrible, uh... pretty terrible buy at, at the shop phase, so... Okay, sacrifice. What does this do? It just kills an enemy, I think? Fire rate? Okay, that seems good. And fire rate. Okay, okay. So I have some actually decent cards now. Oh, and I have a health bar at the bottom. Okay. Okay, so I have 400 points. Very nice fireworks. Okay. Wave 1 shop. Bullet up for five seconds. So I want that. And I want that. I'm, I'm getting a bunch of like negative points. I don't really understand because I think that's like my money. So am I just like <laughs> accruing debt. Oh my god. Alright, getting hit a lot here. The game does feel very good, and it looks very good, I gotta say. A lot of, a lot of polish here, despite the uh, time constraints that they uh, seem to have run into. So very, very impressive if this was truly only made in two days. All right, danger zone. So I can purchase or use. Minus 400. Yeah, it seems like uh, maybe it's just not checking to see whether I'm going negative or not, and it's just like letting me. That's, uh, that's my guess right now. I might also be losing points when enemies like leave the screen. Or not. So I'm at minus 500. So purchase cost 400, sacrifice 3. OK, so they have a usage cost and a like purchase cost. Oh, and I can select different ones using the arrow keys. OK. Okay, so this one costs 100 to use. Oh, danger zone. Okay, enemies deal more damage, but give more points. Permanent. Double the fire rate for five seconds. Permanently gain 100 HP. That seems pretty good. Heal 200. Okay, and sacrifice, sacrifice 300 HP for 40 coins. Okay, that's a huge cost. Considering that to buy it, you need, you need to pay 400 coins. Hmm, <laughs> that's a little bit suspicious. It sounds like you're just losing 360 points and 300 life total. OK, well, I'll take fire rate. Whoa. 
I can't move. Oh. It's Waz to move, not Arrow Keys. <laughs> How come I'm only drawing, like, crappy cards? I'm, like, not drawing any of my cards. I can hide cards and show them. Okay, I just missed like eight shots in a row there. All right, very nice firework effects. It's pretty impressive that they're able to do these fireworks with a Pi game seemingly without losing any FPS. Hmm. Maybe you like don't draw cards if you have negative money or something like that. I'm not sure how you get more money though. I don't know. Hard to say. <laughs> yeah, it can be hard sometimes to tell like what is a bug and what is intended in jam games. Especially when the uh, like title screen of the game says that there are bugs. It seems like my damage is higher than it used to be, though, because I'm, like, one-shotting the purple guys. Can I use this? So I'll buy that. I'll buy that. I'll buy that. Yeah, but I just, like, draw no cards now. Which, uh, it doesn't seem very fair. Yeah, there's probably some mechanic that I'm just doing wrong here. But yeah, I'm actually not sure if I'm like building a deck of cards that I will get to reuse or if I'm just buying like one-time effects. Like, I'm not sure what, what using a card actually means, whether it destroys it or whether it just, like, activates it and then goes into your discard. Um, but, yeah, buying cards doesn't seem to actually do anything. Oh, unless they're hidden. No, they're not hidden. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that would have been stupid. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't seem like anything else is really going to happen. So I think I will call it here for XXX. Does this game even have a, a name? Oop. When I click the X, it like, it's, it's as if I'm clicking escape. <laughs> it's weird. Okay, anyways. Uh, Oh, it's called Space Invaders. OK. This has been Space Invaders. I I hope that they actually like go and, and finish this game, maybe. I think uh, I think there's a lot of potential here. I think that the uh, like the card slash like deck building stuff meshing with uh, with Space Invaders is a really cool idea. Um, I think deck building games 
I, I don't really like it when deck building games are mixed with like um, like action games. Because I, I feel like it, it kind of clashes. It's like you want to like read your cards and like carefully decide whether to use them or not, but you also want to like dodge bullets and stuff. So it's it's like really, you really have to like multitask for these types of games, especially if you're not familiar with the cards. So I wonder if it like, I don't know if if the game would like pause or something while you're looking at the cards. I think that would be. A cool idea or if yeah so, something like that J just to make the card usage a little more strategic and a little bit less uh, stressful <laughs> for for people who don't have all the cards memorized and yeah obviously I think there were some bugs as well allowing your like your money to go negative seemed weird it might be intentional but it seemed weird and then the fact that I was I was drawing no cards it was also weird, I'm not sure if that was related to my money being super negative, but yeah, anyways, this has been Space Invaders, a game with a lot of potential. It sounds like they crammed all their development in, into two days, even though it was like a nine or so day <laughs> jam. Um, but yeah, completely, completely understandable. People have other things going on besides game jams. All right, I'm not sure how long this video has been going, but I want to keep going. So the next game is Steel Terror by TXR and the Python Guy. I want to say TXR won a jam. I think he, I, I think TXR won one of the jams before the uh, before the last one. I'm not sure what game that was, though. All right, Steel Terror. Controls, WASDA, driving the tank, space shooting, escape, getting back to menu. Note, you can't go back to the menu unless the sector you are in is cleared. Simple game about driving a tank and destroying other tanks with it. Rarely in a dungeon, stronger golden tanks appear, so be careful. The danger of an encounter with a golden tank can reward you with a pet or an... Ooh, a pet. Okay, or a new tank. If you survive, so good luck. After defeating the golden tank, a reward unlocks in the shop. Map is randomly generated. Golden locks can be unlocked only by defeating a golden tank. Okay, so Wazda and Space, and I want to defeat the golden tanks. Um, I think I just have to download it like this. Yeah, it would be it would be nice if people just made executables for their games, but that's fine. Oh my god. No! Notepad. Alright, uh, how do I run it? Just main.py. Alright, hopefully there are no dependencies here. No module named Perlin Noise. Bruh. Uh, there's no like requirements.txt. Libraries. Oh my god. Um, all right. I guess we're going to do this the old fashioned way. Pip install Perlin Noise. Pip install pillow. Pip install nine patch. Um, I have Pi game. All right. Fuck, it's going to the wrong place. Um, okay, I can fix that though. I just need to go back to Pygame 3.7. Cozy. <laughs> Why do you do this to me? OK. Um, so I just want to change this to point at 3.7. OK. 
okay. Um, and then I'm going to close this. Invalid mask values. Um, what? Main.py screen.blit invalid mask values. Is this a versioning issue? Uh, Oh, other people are complaining as well. Um, invalid mask values. Do you need the Perla noise library? Uh, what? Was this ever resolved? Too many dependencies. I had an error, an error that I solved commenting the display toggle full screen. Um, wait, why would this line be giving this error? There's no mask. Screen dot blitz surface. Um. Oh. A surface. game import star where are they creating the surface damn it looks like this is a pretty substantial game it's just like I just can't play it because of this bug I would try like downgrading um, Pygame, but I don't feel like that would help. I mean, everyone's using 2.01 now, so. Recreating window and toggle full screen. Main.py 124. Oh, screen dot. What are they blitting? Is this even doing anything? Is this even doing anything? Are they just trying to fill the screen? I'm not sure what's wrong with this call. Um, What if I just don't? <laughs> what if we skip that? Um, segmentation fault? OK, something odd is going on here. I think there's got to be some versioning issue happening here, but I don't really understand. <laughs> okay, that's too bad. Um, 
Yeah, I hope that they fix this, because it seems like nobody can play except for this person. Yeah, I wonder what's, maybe, I don't know, maybe it just doesn't work on Windows. Okay, moving on to Bad Burger. Badburger.rar. Collect the fruits before getting the time ends or getting burned by the fire orcs. Okay, let's download. Um, okay, I don't want to open this with VLC. Uh, can I? Hopefully 7-zip can handle it. Okay, there's a main. That's what I like to see. That is what I like to see. All right, here we go. We have a working, functional game. <laughs> Let me make sure I can capture it. What's this called? Pygame window. OK, we are good. In business. Bad burger. What do we got up here? Music. Okay, I think we have some options. I don't hear any music though. Click to eat. Help. Moving. Move the player with the arrow buttons. Okay, beautiful. I think that's it. <laughs> Credits. Programming. EMC 235, FKS, Mario, HK, Arts, Mario, HK. Okay, back. All right, let's play. Oh my god, there's a lot of levels. Oh, who am I? Am I the burger? I am the burger. Okay. Okay, the art is actually very impressive. I think the game looks, looks really good, actually. With all these sprites. So I think I just want to get the bananas. Um, some of the bananas are in ice. <laughs> uh, okay, hold on. Am I supposed to push these? Oh, oh, okay, the space bar does something. Okay, okay, so you, um... <laughs> am I licking the ice, or am I kicking it? Okay, so you can break an entire row of ice. And there's this guy here, who will kill me. Yeah, this game actually looks beautiful. I think that this game, artistically, might be my favorite so far. Yeah, a lot of great uh, sprite work here. Alright. Oh, don't kill me! Oh, did I just lose? Alright, alright. Let's move on to a harder level. I feel like, uh... So I want to get the the cherries. Can I kick? Okay, so you can only break adjacent blocks of ice. Oh, these guys can break ice as well. that I can kill them, even with my uh, kicking attack. Okay, 
Whoa, why did that break down there? Okay, okay. Like, I, I shot through these two and it broke this one. Maybe there's like a, just a range? Yeah, I'm confused. Um, or maybe he broke it down there, actually. That's Whoa, wait. Oh, you can put ice as well. Oh. See, this is all stuff that would have been good in the uh, in the instructions. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's try a harder level. <laughs> so these guys can break ice. Yeah, I'm not sure how their AI works exactly. Is there more help? Move the player with the arrow buttons. Yeah, I think that's about it. this. I just need to, um, I'm actually gonna go, up here Oh, there's more. Oh, this is bad. Okay. Evasive maneuver. Okay. Okay. That should be good. Nice. Alright. I beat the level. Yeah, so once the guys are close to you... You just want to have like as much ice down as you can. So you can block them effectively. Okay. 
Because you can actually move through the ice very quickly when it's like all connected. Oh, there's more. Okay. love the art of this game. It, uh, it feels very professional. Like, I feel like this could literally be, like, an old arcade game. And everything's really well animated as well. Like, it's not just the, uh, like, the art is great, but those enemies are, like, really animated smoothly, which takes a lot of work. I wouldn't be surprised if they had, like, a dedicated art person who was like just doing art with uh with this level of quality okay i think there's one more cherry up there so i just need to draw these guys out lot of levels. I would be surprised if all of these are actually built, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> it could be, but that seems like a lot of levels. <laughs> um, okay, let's see if I can beat level 10. Oh man, the second that you're in a zone with like two of them at the same time, you're kind of screwed. Oh shit. What's the plan here? I think I just want to like, just go fast. not even worry about blocking areas off and just like go forward yeah because you actually like move faster than they do so if they're just like chasing you yeah here we go oh is there more oh it's there okay oh there's more okay Oh, there's three different types. Okay, this is actually fun. Okay. Just go fast, though. Just go fast. And they actually move quite slowly when they're far away from you, so... That was really close. That was really close. Okay, 
Okay, I think for this level, the strat is to just... Just break as much as I can so that I have, like, escape routes. Sketchy. Wall those guys off. Like that. Very quickly. Big wide open spaces is. Well, maybe it's not that good. <laughs> I was gonna say it's good, but not when they like surround you. Yeah, the AI is a bit is a bit interesting here, because they don't just kind of like blindly follow you like you might expect. They kind of uh, it seems like they almost like lose interest after a while and then just wander. There we go. Is there a next level? Yeah, I don't think there is. I think level 10 is the last. All right, this is uh, really cool though. Um, I love the art, I love the presentation. It's a cool idea. This has got to be like a riff on a, on a classic game, but I'm not familiar with it. So, I don't exactly know, but definitely very cool, and I'm, I'm impressed by this. And I'm glad that they uh, had an EXE that I can just run, and it works. <laughs> Alright, that was uh, Bad Burger by Marios and a few other people. Moving on, how many more games are there? Three, if you don't count mine, or four. All right, yeah, we gotta go quick. Gotta go quick. All right, Asteroids Revenge. Asteroids Revenge, your planet is under attack by an asteroid swarm. It's up to you and your ship to save the planet. Controls, hold the left mouse button in the direction you would like to move. Space to shoot, enter to restart. Okay, by Robo Marcello, Scriptline Studios. Adam Audio. All right, there's an EXE. You'll love to see it. Okay, <laughs> I'm just gonna run this random EXE that we downloaded and hopefully Windows won't have a problem with it. All right, Windows is absolutely chugging for some reason right now. Did this really just like crash my my file explorer. Windows, please! <laughs> really? Okay, it just crashed my... Uh... What is happening? Really? Okay, something terrible is happening with this EXE. Is this like a virus? Deleting it. 
it's open in another program. delete files. <laughs> Dell file name. Um, okay. I don't know what was going on there with that exe, but Windows did not like it. All right, let's just download the source. I I assume there is nothing malicious in that exe, but that was very weird. Um, yeah, because like I I know who these people are. It's not like it's not like these are just random jam entrance. Very weird. All right, main.py. Here we go. Um, properties. All right, we are good. You can hear the audio. Space to play. Enter how to play. Watch out. You planet is being attacked by asteroids. Hold left mouse the direction you like to move. Press space to shoot. Okay. Okay. Planet. Okay. We can move. Okay. Oh, lots of effects. Okay. What? <laughs> okay, and ask for a, a ship hit it. All right. I think I'm familiar with the uh, original version of this game. I recognize this. Uh, this Did I get hit? Alright, come on, we can do better. No! <laughs> Alright, come on. Get at least like 25, I think. So the, the spaceships don't actually seem to kill the planet, but I think they kill you with their bullets. Yeah, so I think I can kind of just ignore the spaceships. Fifty-six or thirty-six? All right, one more try. See how well we can do. It's hard to see the. Uh... All right, one one more try. It's hard to see the uh, the UFO's bullets with um, all the particle effects and stuff. 
Because, like, the planets are just, like, white little dots in the background. All the debris from meteors is, uh, white little dots. Everything in this game is, like, white little dots in the alien ship. Alright, I just need to ignore the alien ships. Oh, and you can fly through the meteors. Okay, so you don't actually have to dodge the meteors. Okay. The planet... Yeah, you, you can't go through the planet. Which is usually how you lose if you just, like, can't reach a meteor in time. Okay. Yeah, you can't even, like, shoot through the planet. Makes sense. Just hoping I don't get hit by that bullet. All right, pretty nice. That's a pretty good score, I think. Yeah, this game's really cool. Uh, it's well polished. Sound effects are great. The graphical effects are great. The song's really cool. Um, yeah, definitely a cool game. Let me switch back to display. Yeah, really have a... Uh, Nothing, nothing bad to say about it. This is great. The, uh, the the controls feel really good as well. The only thing that feels a little bit bad is when you like bonk the planet with the ship and you like lose because of it, <laughs> or like if your shot hits the planet. But I think that that's like like a very sensible restriction to have. All right, very cool. That was Asteroids by Robo Marcello and others. Okay, Brick Brecken. Yeah, I don't know what was up with the EXE file as well. That was kind of weird. Brick Brecken, a brick breaker and space shooter inspired indie game made with Python and Pi games. Simple yet fun remake of a classic game. Okay, bunch of people. Very cool. Let's give it a try. Is there an EXE? There is. All right, let's run it. This is called... Called Brick Brecken. Okay. Oh my god, these bullets are brutal. Okay. I need to hit those ships. Okay, that's good. I love the, uh, I love the art and the sound so far. Uh. There we go. 
Okay, time to break the bricks. Any minute now. No! Come on, okay. There's one. One more. Please. Come on. Hit the brick. Hit the brick. Come on, there we go. Okay. Level two. That was bad. Get in there. That's bad too. Okay, I have one life. This level's gonna be hard. I really need to get the ball. Damn. Oh, back to level one? Are you kidding me? That's pretty brutal. Pretty brutal that you have to restart the whole game when you uh, lose a level, but that's fine. Skills I should do to do. Even faster than I did before. Come on. Yes. One more. One more. Hit it. Hit it. No. Come on. Very good. Okay. Up there. Yes. Okay. Good. Yeah, the ships are brutal. Alright, couple more. Calculated. Yeah, you actually have a lot of control over like the angle the ball goes at. So there's quite a lot of like skill. Very nice. Game completed. Is that it? I think that is it. Very cool. Yeah, the soundtrack is really great as well. And all the art, mechanics. Yeah, maybe uh, it, maybe it could have used a couple more levels, but this is, uh, this is great. Yeah, nothing bad to say about this as well. And it's a cool twist on the, uh, the, the block breaker and Space Invader uh, gameplay. So very cool. This has been Brick Brecken by uh, Mighty Joseph, Jessica Robo, Kadir, Grimmies, Mahai, and Ankith. All right, we are chugging through these now. Death Race. Death Race, made for Pi Game, Summer Jam 2021. The theme was remaking all the game with a twist. We decided to take the old arcade game Death Race, but instead of being the car, you are the person who tries to defend from the killer car. Pixel art made by me, Lacroze. Sound effect made by Mario Kurt. This is Python Pi Game. Okay. this. Extract the files. Is there an exe? There's a lot of stuff. Uh, 
Okay, here we go. Windows security is freaking out about this. <laughs> Relax. Um, Windows security, really? Up? Oh. Okay, it started. It took like 10 seconds to start, which was weird. We might get a second one. All right, instructions. The error, or wait, wait, wait. That. Yeah, this game was really slow to start up. Never seen that before. Um, I want. Okay, we are good. Here's the instructions. Arab machine terror has come to an end. Hero dared to challenge them to free us all. Glory to you, great hero. Use Wazza to move. Mouse for gun direction. Left click to shoot. You have 99 seconds to defeat. Avoid all the cars and destroy the time. Every time the life bar runs out, the score changes, and you or the car will come back to another point. Oh my god. So that's the die car. I'm really getting hit by the car. Okay, the gameplay here is very hectic. <laughs> this car is not obeying the rules of the road. Okay, I think I hit it. Or I think I killed it. A lot of, uh, a lot of tasteful screen shake in this game. And the, uh, the player sprite is animated very well. And the gun, like, rotates around. The gun is, uh, the gun is floating a little bit, depending on what angle you hold it at, but this kind of stuff is hard to animate. My gun does not seem to be making bullets every time I shoot, though. Or maybe it is, and they're just hard to see. But, like, I'm clicking. Okay. Maybe there's, like, a limit to the number of bullets that can be on the screen at a time. But yeah, like, I'm... I'm, like, spam clicking. It seems that we will remain in terror of dying crushed, at least you try. <laughs> Alright, hold on. It's like really hard to avoid stuff, because you're just so slow. Anytime you like go into the road, you run the risk of getting hit by these cars that are like very fast. Maybe I'm like reloading. I do like the art a lot though. Two to two. Damn, two to three. Like, I can't shoot. <laughs> oh, I think the die car gets reflected. Like, like, why can't I shoot most of the time? All right, very cool idea here. I feel like uh, I feel like I should have had more bullets coming out of the gun than there were. 
I don't know if there's like a reload mechanic or something like that. But um, yeah, the game looks very cool, and I love the the sound effects and the the music and everything like that. The um, yeah, it's definitely reminiscent of of arcade games. I'm not familiar with the the um, the, the death the original Death Race game that they were uh, twisting, but. Very cool. This has been Death Race Twisted by LaPraz and the music guy whose name I don't remember. <laughs> I'll, I'll look up the name. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. Mario Kurt. Okay, yeah. LaPraz and Mario Kurt. All right, this is my game, so I will skip it. Well, let's let's do a run. <laughs> let's do a run of uh, of Tempest Run. We may as well, right? Um, just to show it off. This is my game that uh, my team and I made. It's called Tempest Run. One sec. All right, yeah, this is Tempest Run. Um, it's basically just like an endless runner where you gotta like jump over spikes and slide through enemies. Let me see if I can get a, a good run in. Yeah, I'm actually pretty proud of the uh, the neon effect that I was able to make here. You could basically just like draw some lines and like blur the display a couple times in a row to get this effect. And then you combine it with like some 3D math to make the uh, to make everything 3D. And a bit of pretty cool effect I think. My best score is like around 9,000 right now. Oh, that wasn't there. All right, one more, one more. <laughs> Get a good one. Yeah, what? I was crouching. All right, one more. Yeah, so in this game, all the uh, like all the obstacles pretty much are 2D. So the best way to avoid things is usually to just like slide horizontally behind them, rather than like trying to jump over stuff. Jumping usually is, is like why you die. If you're in the air when you collide with a uh, green enemy, you'll just lose. Whoa! Okay, that was that was barely fair. Yeah, the level generation is like okay, that wasn't very fair either. The level generation is like purely random, so sometimes you will end up with some pretty unfair layouts. But there's like nine lanes or so, so usually there will be at least one that's like clear. You gotta keep your, uh, keep your eye on the ceiling and stuff. 
see if there's a better lane we can go into. Jesus. <laughs> okay. That was that was pretty clutch. Security is freaking out about something right now. But it's not Tempest Run. <laughs> Nothing weird about the Tempest Run EXE. I can't speak for these other games. Alright, I think there's one more called Just a Normal Pong, which I think will be the perfect way to wrap up this video. Just the normal Pong. Welcome to Pong, the game where you need to bounce ball and gain score requirements. Python 3.8 or higher. Pi game. Description. This game was made by me for summer. Pi game jam. Theme was remake an old game with jam with a twist. For this game, it is possible. There's some secrets to this game. <laughs> okay. Um, so I will download the jam version for fairness. And I may not pie, and it just works beautiful. Okay, Pong, play or tutorial, made with Pi game, this is a tutorial. Welcome to Pong, press enter to continue. To move, use W and S. Okay. <laughs> I think that I'm the paddle on the left. The ball is moving almost vertically, so we might be here a while. <laughs> Alright, can I, uh, I don't want to do this tutorial anymore. Alright, let's play. The, the ball is really moving with quite a lot of vertical momentum. I think I got it. So... I do wonder what the secrets are. What? <laughs> How do you get three points from that? Okay, I get one. Oh my god, and the, the ball goes back to the center with like... Almost completely vertical movement. <laughs> Is it even moving? Oh my god. I'm gonna drink some water. I think the ball is moving. But yeah, the ball like really has a tendency to get going vertically. Okay, it's coming back now. Okay. So there's only like three paddle positions, which is interesting. Wow, I just missed. 
Oh, come on, AI. You can't do this to me. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not sure how the original Pong works, but you might want to have a limit for like how vertical the ball can get going. Oh, oh, that was a good shot. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I think you can actually send the, the ball backwards if you're not careful. Wow. So I haven't seen any uh, secrets yet. So right now it does seem to be just a very normal game of Pong, true to its name. That wasn't a point? <laughs> Alright, it's good, good to get there. That was missed. I do want to at least win, even if I don't find any secrets. Okay, the AI is getting better. Up. Oh. What? So the paddles are getting uh, narrower, I'm pretty sure. And the positions have changed. Wait, have they? No, you still go to the center. Come on, give me some points. Oh, no. So when the ball is going like vertical, I guess you can kind of just like move up through it. There we go. Come on. Up. No! Stop doing this to me! I'm trying to release this video today. Is it first to 10? Maybe I can get like a nice triple bounce. Nope. Oh. Oh. So when the enemy misses it, it like goes back to the center, I think. Sort of. Sometimes. It's kind of weird. Okay. Oh. 11 to 11, first to 12, 13. Oh, I did it. Okay, well, I'm gonna consider this a win. <laughs> Let me uh, check the code real quick. I just want to see if there's any, like, end. Where's the score? Player. Ball. Scene. Game. Okay. Where's the score? Player score. Draw text. Right collide. Check stage. Oh, does the game get harder as your score... If self.stage equals 2... 2 dot get hard. It 
So if your score is like less than twice, or is like less than half of the bot score and the bot score is greater than five, then something happens. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> I started playing again and I just instantly lost like five points. It does seem like something happens if... Like if the scores, if something happens with the scores. But... Yeah, it's hard to tell. I'm not sure if these stages actually change anything substantially. These might just be menus. Self.stage. Yeah, there's all this stuff for like setting the stage. Update stage, control bot. Okay, I think it just affects the, um, oh. Self.player shoot. Handle events, key down space. Wait. <laughs> it's not really the way you're supposed to play the game. It's like <laughs> hacking through the uh, through the source, trying to find secrets. But I do have plenty of time in between uh, in between rallies to try to find stuff. Dialogue. So there is like dialogue. Mm, is this all tutorial? Oh, you know, maybe this is all like tutorial stuff. Does the main game have any, uh... Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not exactly sure. Well, I hope that I've given this game a fair shake. But I feel like I have probably missed the uh, the secret aspect of it, which is a shame. But it's getting late, and this video is very long, so I think it is time to wrap it up. Um, yeah, this has been a normal game of Pong by uh, R R R Lead and potentially some other people, but I don't think they're credited. Uh, so yeah, this has been Pi Game Community Summer Team Jam. Uh, lots of interesting games here. I definitely liked... Uh, I liked all the ones that worked, actually. I loved the, uh, the, the Snake game, and I liked the, the Pac-Man game. Western Defender had, had great art. And I love, yeah, there's just like a lot of details here, which is very cool. Shovel Mario, this game seems like it could have been cool, but I think it was just kind of broken. Um, this game was very well polished. And yeah, this was the, uh, the block breaking game. This was very cool. Yeah, yeah this was like the, the, the gallery game. With all the cool uh, graphics and sounds. Space Invaders uh, seems like a very interesting mechanic, and I wish that they had had more time to work on it. Because yeah, I think that this shows a lot of potential. Uh, this game also seemed very cool, but I could not get it to work. So that's a shame. I hope that they fix it. <laughs> uh, Bad Burger was awesome. Yeah, this game was 
definitely very cool. Asteroids was very cool. Brick Brecken was very cool. Uh, Death Race was very cool. Yeah, a lot of great games here. Um, I encourage anyone watching this video, people watching this video are probably participants of the jam mainly, but yeah, uh, check out these games if you get a chance. All right, that's it for me. This video is insanely long. Hopefully nothing went wrong with the recording. Uh, I'm going to cut it off here. So thank you. This is Gast signing off.